How to find the missing term in a pair of equivalent fractions. Strategy 1. Multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number if the missing term is in its higher term. Divide if the missing term is in its lower term. For example, 5 eighths is equal to blank over 16. The missing term is in its higher term because 16 is greater than 8. This implies that you have to multiply 8 by a certain number to get 16. And that number is 2. So multiply also 5 by 2 to get the missing term which is 10. Number 2. 12 gets lower to 4. This means that you have to divide 12 by a certain number which is 3 to get 4. If in case you don't think of 3 right away, you can also divide 12 by 4 which is 3. And then do the same with 15, divide 15 by 3. So the missing term is 5. Number 3. In this case, the fraction with complete terms is on the right, 28 over 36. 28 gets lower to 7. It also means that you have to divide 28 by 4 to get 7. Do the same with 36. So the missing term is equal to 9. Number 4. Blank over 42 is equal to 7, 6. Again, the complete term fraction is on the right. 6 gets higher to 42, therefore it, it follows that you have to multiply 6 by a certain number which is 7 to get 42. Do the same with the numerator 7. So the missing term is 49. Strategy 2. Reduce first the given fraction to its lowest term before multiplying or dividing. This strategy is useful especially if the given fraction can still be reduced and if both numerator and denominator cannot be multiplied or divided by the same number to get the missing term. For example, 6 ninths is equal to blank over 21. You cannot multiply any number by 9 to get 21 and 6 nines can still be reduced that's why we have to reduce 6 nines by 3 6 divided by 3 is 2 9 divided by 3 is 3 3 gets higher to 21 therefore we have to multiply 3 by a certain number which is 7 do the same with 2 so we get a missing term of 14. Number 6. 15 and 18 can also be reduced by 3. And the reduced form is 5 over 6. 5 gets higher to 20. So we have to multiply 5 by a certain number to get 20. And that number is 4. Do the same with 6. So the missing term is 24. Number 7. 24 over 30 can also be reduced, but this time by 6. 24 divided by 6 is 4. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 4 gets higher to 16. So we have to multiply 4 by 4 to get 16 and do the same with 5. So the missing term in number 7 is 20. Number 8. 12 and 8 can be reduced to lowest term by 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 2 gets higher to 18. Therefore, we have to multiply 2 by do the same with 3, so we get our missing term, 27. Third strategy, cross multiply first, then divide. This strategy is useful especially if the given terms are all small numbers. For example, 6 nines is equal to blank over 6. 
cross multiply 6 and 6 and then divide the result by 9. 6 times 6 is 36. Divide it by 9. The result is 4. So 4 is the missing number. You will know if your answer is correct because you cross multiply 9 and 4. You also get the same result as 6 times 6. Number 10. Cross multiply 15 and 4 which gives you 60 and when you divide 60 by 5 you get 12 number 11 cross multiply 9 and 2 the result is 18 divide 18 by 6 which gives us 3 number 12 cross multiply 5 and 6 and divide the result by 3 which gives us the missing term of 10. For your own exercises, find the missing term in each pair of equivalent fractions using any of the three strategies. Again, whatever problems we have, whether in math or in life, God provides one or more solutions. Our life is like a pair of equivalent fractions with a missing term. It always consists of a missing piece that only God can completely fill. This is Teacher Zilla reaching out to you, your Pinay Math teacher.